Hello and welcome to another macro video. Today I'm thinking about backing up your macros and I want to ask you, of course, when was the last time you backed up your macros? And also don't forget that some of your macros will probably have keystrokes assigned to them. So if for some reason or other you lose the macros, you also lose the keystrokes that and would have to spend time reassigning those. But of course, uh, not surprisingly, I have at some stage produced a macro, or rather a pair of macros, which allow you to save your macros and keystrokes, and then to be able to restore them again by running the other macro. So that is a video there which uh, tells you how to do that, but it does take some time, and therefore the temptation is not to bother. So I asked myself, when did I last uh, back up mine? I've checked, I've got uh, 828 macros in my normal template and I've got 246 keystrokes assigned to them. So when was it? When did I last back up my macros and keystrokes? And the answer is February 2018. Ah, right. But actually, uh, I'm not quite as stupid as that might sound because there is another way of backing up the macros and keystrokes and that is to take a backup of your normal template which is okay provided you know where the normal template is but we'll look at that in a second so uh, if you've if you know where it is as I do and you've got a, a shortcut on the screen on the uh, desktop you can double click on that and you end up with looking at the uh, contents of your templates folder and as you can see there's loads of, of backups there copies of the normal template going right back uh, to um, August last year so to uh, back up the normal template click on the normal the one that's just called normal that's the current one control C to copy control V to paste and there's a copy of it dated the 26th of February. As you can see I've done this twice already because that was in my rehearsal. Okay, um, so that's it, that's done. So if something happens I can get rid of this copy of normal. I can uh, copy this one, the latest one, and give it the name normal and then that becomes the current normal template and I've got all my macros and keystrokes back. So the only thing I need to show you now is how to find this this templates folder when you don't already know. So easy way of doing it if you click on the file menu file tab and you go as if to create a new blank document so you click on new if you look along the available templates there there's one called my templates if you click on that then you get a window up and when I saw this the other day I thought good grief that's the that's all my normal templates and so well if I can I find out where that is and the answer is yes if I right click uh, on there and click properties then within that you've got the line here which has got the information we want it's the location so if I copy that and close that close that and then just go back to my display before so we now know uh, where to look so we just need a filer window so click on that get a filer window up in the uh, location window there click on that and paste so if I go back one step to templates uh, from templates to um, the uh, folder where that is stored and click return then it takes me to the Microsoft folder and down here is templates so if I click on that all I want now is a, uh, as you can see here I've got a shortcut to it so if I right click on there and uh, click create shortcut then down at the bottom here I've got a template shortcut I can drag that, drag that across onto the desktop of course I've got two there so I've already got that but that's how you find out where your templates are I've wanted to know that for quite a long time and pleased to see that we now know where it is or how to find it. So there we go, that's it for now and if you have any queries don't hesitate to get in contact by email. Thanks for watching, bye.